It's a mystery, man. Will it ever be solved? Frankie Presto. <laughs> Then the way he died was so mysterious. I mean, he was performing. It started to rise up. It's the perfect death for Frankie Presto. Who was this guy? Was he one of us? Did he come from some other place? He was an orphan in Spain. Being in Detroit, looking for his mom. And he came to New York and, and broke all kind of records. He just sticks his head in the door. And our first reaction was, Hell, he is fine. Every time I know you've done me wrong, here you come and sing your old song. Those aren't Elvis's moves. Those aren't James Brown's moves. Those are Frankie Presto's moves. He was leaping up in the air. It was like Nuria. Say no, no, honey. Say no, no, honey. I feel like even if you took the guitar away from him, he would still musically influence me. Frankie Presto was like the loneliest monk, that he knew how to play for the people and he also knew how to play the music. It sounds beautiful now and it's going to be beautiful 50 years from now. I mean, he had these magic fingers and these magic strings. When he started playing, was ghosts in the house. If one string during a performance turned blue, the story goes that it had, had a profound effect on somebody's life. There were these great stories about Frankie. I would hang around this local music shop. We were looking for a guitar player. I'm in this monastery in Spain. I heard somebody playing something. When he walked in, so that's Frankie Presto. Then I saw a musician, Frankie Presto. He was my music teacher. I didn't know he was Frankie Presto. It's like seeing a pimp in a nunnery. Never in a million years would I ever think that this guy would walk into an audition with Kiss. He would uh, disguise himself and teach in Staten Island. You didn't know what was true, what wasn't true. The night that he was performing with Elvis and Elvis didn't show up. I took him to a party with the Beatles and the Rolling Stones. I thought about him telling me that I should be an entertainer. And the words I wrote down was, today I met the boy I'm going to marry. He'd been on an island. I heard he went to Woodstock. Visiting the Dalai Lama or someplace in Nepal. Maybe he had a nervous breakdown. He's done one movie. No, no. He made half of a movie. If they looked and couldn't find a birth certificate, nothing would surprise me. What do you know about the so-called legendary recording, The Magic Strings of Frankie Preston? It's bootlegged. I've never seen it. i never heard it. A mythical, amazing uh, compilation. He was not aware that he was being recorded. I've heard there's as few as 15 copies. I'm not going to say that I don't have one, but I'm not going to say that I have one either. Frank was a shaman. Magical. Just extraordinary. He was playing to God. Frankie Presto was the greatest. It's incredible. Special. Heavenly. Mystical. Powerful. Legendary. It was death-defying. And then he vanished. Mm -hmm.